we're kind of known in the, in the community as the Helu tribe. There isn't a, probably a weekend that, you know, we really can get out and enjoy ourselves. We're, we're either training or we're at a track meet or at a sporting event. So Mahelu and his family are always on the run. This weekend, the journey continues with a trip to Texas for yet another track and field meet. This one for 12-year-old Pilata, who fell in love with the sport by idolizing its stars. When I would watch the Olympic Games on TV, and I used to watch uh, Allison Felix and Sonia Rich Ross. What was it about those two that you kind of looked up to and idolized and thought maybe I could be at that stage someday? Um, that they never, they never quit when they got first or they just kept going. Nearly four years ago, the Helu signed Pilata on with Pops Track Club, headed by former Olympian Latanya Sheffield. With her guidance and Pilata's natural ability, it did not take long to see the potential. It was her first track meet and uh, right out of the gate, her very first 100 meters, she won it and placed first out of over 100 girls. My first track meet and my first event was 100 and when I first got first place. And what was that feeling like? It was amazing. <laughs> It was a good feeling. The top of the podium has become routine for Lata, an Arizona state champion and record holder, a national champion and record holder. She works tirelessly to improve her craft. You know, working out of the blocks Set. and working on the corners no. and also long jump. Um, she does that maybe two to three times a week. I'll come out here with a mindset that I have a workout for her. That's probably going to push her. Then middle, middle way through the workout, she's just dominating it, so then I'll have to modify it. It's that vigorous approach to training that paves the way for success in competition, even when surrounded by hundreds of the state, region, or even nation's top athletes. At first it's really frightening, but I get used to it. She'll tell us. She has the maturity to tell us what she wants to do and what she wants to improve on. Looking at it, you know, she actually has better marks than other events, but she really wants to work on her weaknesses. That's something very mature at an early age. Which brings us back to this weekend. Lata is competing in the USA Track and Field Region 10 Junior Olympic Championships on the campus of UTEP in El Paso and raising the bar once again. I uh, try to get my own personal records or other national records for long jump and the 4x4. Four four. It is worth noting Lata and her long relay teammates, who hail from Mesa, rarely practice the event. The talent pool is so strong, they can show up at a meet and dominate, and not just the girls. You just have fun through it and try to stay with the boys, but eventually pass them up. Sit. Do you give them grief for that? Mm -hmm. What started with an eight-year-old watching her heroes on television has turned into a personal pilgrimage to reach track and field's highest levels. I hope to get through and try to make it to the Junior Olympics and then off to the Olympics. Or gold weights? Mm -hmm. She came to me 2011, December of 2011, and said, Dad, I want to run track. And that, that's what she said she, she wanted for Christmas. And the rest was history. Obviously, you know, you want, you know, your kids to succeed, but, you know, she's making it easy just because she wants to do it. Um, sometimes we have to pull back um, and just let her be a kid.